tear film is rather more complex. The layers blend together, forming a mucoaqueous gradient on the surface of the eye. Phospholipid layer The aqueous layer is supported by a phospholipid layer, secreted primarily by the meibomian glands, that resists evaporative loss of aqueous and stabilizes the tear film by increasing surface tension. Aqueous layer The aqueous component, secreted by the lacrimal gland and the accessory glands, consists primarily of water, but also proteins such as epidermal growth factor, lactoferrin, lysozyme, immunoglobulins and cytokines. Mucin layer The mucin layer, secreted primarily by the goblet cells, abuts the surface epithelium and provides a smooth hydrophilic surface that stabilizes the aqueous against the otherwise hydrophobic epithelium. Dry eye is a multifactorial disease of the ocular surface characterized by a loss of homeostasis of the tear film and accompanied by ocular symptoms, in which tear film instability and hyperosmolarity, ocular surface inflammation and damage and neurosensory abnormalities play etiological roles. Symptoms Burning Ocular and conjunctival irritation Foreign body sensation Dryness Photophobia Ocular fatigue Redness Blurred vision Signs Conjunctival injection Decreased tears meniscus Loss of corneal sheen Rapid tear film breakup Filamentary keratitis Sterile ulceration of the cornea Thinning and perforation of these ulcers Causes Sjogren syndrome Lacrimal gland deficiencies Lacrimal gland duct obstruction Reflex hypersecretion Systemic drugs Intrinsic Direct effect on evaporation Extrinsic, indirect effect via changes to ocular surface. Workup. Tear film breakup time greater than tens. Schirmer test less than 5 mm over 5 minutes, without topical anesthetic. Staining, fluorescein, rose bengal stain and lysamine green. Hyperosmolarity. Inflammatory biomarkers, such as IL-1, IL-17, MMP9, interferon gamma, IFN gamma and human leukocyte antigen antigen D-related, HLA-DR. Thank you.